The well-equipped Isuzu D-Max Blade pickup is available either with a six-speed manual or a five-speed auto gearbox, plus 18-inch alloy wheels, a roller top cover or a full topper, side steps, tinted windows, heated leather seats, a DAV stereo, and a touchscreen sat-nav system. So it's well equipped then, yet with prices starting from under £25,000, it can't be seen as too much of an indulgence. Think pickup, and you'll probably reckon on a Toyota Hilux or a Mitsubishi L200, possibly even a Nissan Navara, a Volkswagen Amarok or a Ford Ranger. If you're in the market for this sort of vehicle, there's another name that would be wholly remiss to leave from your shortlist the Isuzu D-Max. A more refined successor to the bulletproof rodeo, the D-Max has started to carve itself a niche in this most hotly contested sector. In order to really underscore what can be done with the D-Max platform, the Isuzu has unleashed the Blade, a D-Max that's been given a whole host of extras, yet retails at a reasonable asking price. Is it enough to convert the undecided? It's hard to see what more Isuzu could have done. The Isuzu D-Max Blade gets the same fuel-efficient 2.5-litre twin-turbo common rail diesel engine as the rest of the D-Max range, offered with the choice of either a six-speed manual transmission or a five-speed automatic. This advanced Euro 5 compliant unit generates 163 PS and peak torque output of 400 Nm at 1400 RPM. The Isuzu D-Max also introduces a shift on the fly system, allowing the driver to adjust between two and four wheel drive modes while traveling at speeds of up to 60 miles an hour. The front suspension comprises an independent double wishbone with coil spring setup, while the rear suspension is made up of overslung leaf springs installed above a special long span rear axle. The Isuzu claims that this offers better driving comfort. Like the old Rodeo, the uh, D-Max is built on a rugged ladder frame chassis, but the similarities end there. The I-GRIP, that stands for Isuzu Gravity Responsive Intelligent Platform. The I-GRIP underpinnings of the D-Max are 42% stiffer than the old Rodeo chassis, helped by improving cross bracing at the rear, which offers superior stability under load and when towing. You also get a 3.5 ton brakes towing capacity and a payload of 1,000 kilograms. The D-Max Blade certainly looks the part, offering those who want a leisure orientated pickup something that has some genuine visual impact. Those 18 inch six spoke alloy wheels help here and they're shod with some meaty looking 255 6018 Pirelli Scorpion Zero tires. The front grille is finished in a shadow grey tone to match the wheels, while the door handles and the roof bars are painted black. Even the heavy duty side steps haven't gone too big in chrome. Two paint finishes are offered. The splash white looks clean, but the blade definitely looks meanest in mica cosmic black. The interior of this double cab looks and feels sturdy but it's far from basic. There's been some clear attempts at styling with a circle of minor controls in the center stack reminiscent of the Mazda RX-8, plus a couple of ventilation ears at the top of the fascia that aren't a million miles away from contemporary Ford design. So while it's not scoring top marks for originality, the D-Max fascia gets credit for ease of use with wheel mounted controls, big clear clocks, easy access to the most important switches and a good driving position. You even get a decent amount of rear seat legroom, which isn't always the case with double cabs. The Isuzu D-Max Blade builds on the equipment of the Utah model in the premium range. That got luxury leather upholstery, heated front seats and automatic climate control, plus roof bars and roof rails. Now to this, the blade adds 18 inch alloy wheels, heavy duty side steps, black tints, and body part coordination, as well as a choice of two hard tops, an aero class leisure canopy, complete with internal light, or a mountain top black roller top cover with black rear style bar. 
There's also the option as an accessory of an under rail bed liner. Indoors, the Blade features a DAB digital radio via a Pioneer AVIC F950 6.1 inch touchscreen navigation system, complete with integrated rear safety camera. The £25,000 asking price doesn't seem overly ambitious, especially when you factor in the Aeroclass topper or the roller top cover. On to the loading practicalities of this double cab variant. At around 5.3 metres long, this is certainly a pretty large vehicle. So you won't be surprised to flip down the sturdy drop down tailgate, which can only retract to horizontal level because of the chunky bumper, and find a pretty substantial cargo area on offer. You'll find a space 1,485 millimetres long, 1,530 millimetres wide, and 465 millimetres in depth, easily big enough for a Euro pallet, which can slide in the 1,110 millimetre space between the wheel arches. You get a unique in class five year, 125,000 mile transferable warranty, which helps beef up those residuals and reinforces the reputation for durability and ruggedness for which Isuzu pickups have become renowned. Not that you're likely to need it. In development, this design underwent over 4 million kilometers of endurance testing, the equivalent of 100 times around the world. There's also three years of roadside recovery and assistance, a three year paint warranty, and six years of anti-corrosion cover. What else? Well, servicing is every 12,000 miles or 24 months. On the eco front, this CO2 emissions figure is a very respectable 192 grams per kilometer for the manual version. And there's a dual exhaust gas recirculation system to cut down on NOx nitrogen oxide emissions. Plus, this very efficient Common Rail Euro 5 compliant unit can return a class leading 38.7 miles to the gallon for the manual version on the combined economy cycle. The D-Max Blade will be a proper test of whether a Suzu really has arrived in the lifestyle pickup market. It's hard to think of anything else that you could really add to it. 18 inch alloy wheels, a DAB stereo, sat nav, climate control, heated leather seats, mica paintwork, a choice of a topper or a roll top to keep your gear safe. It's all there in the asking price. Before you go shopping elsewhere, start totting up those sorts of extras from the options list and then you might start appreciating what the D-Max Blade offers. But you'll need to be quick, these aren't going to hang around.